Good nutrition is important at any stage of your life, especially if you have cancer. Eating well can help you feel better, heal, and recover faster. In general, patients who have been diagnosed with a neuroendocrine tumor should focus on three nutrition goals. Making sure their diet provides them with enough calories, protein, and fluid throughout treatment. Calories give you energy and help you gain or maintain weight. Try to eat and drink enough calories throughout treatment to maintain your weight. Protein helps build a healthy immune system, helps you maintain muscle mass and strength, uh, it helps you fight infection and heal. In general, patients going through cancer treatment require more protein than usual. Try to include a protein-rich food at every meal and snack. Protein foods include chicken, fish, poultry, tofu, dairy products, nuts, and legumes like dried beans, peas, and lentils. Finally, drinking enough fluids is important to prevent dehydration. On average, aim to have at least nine cups of fluid each day. If your weight is stable and you don't have any symptoms or side effects that are impacting your eating, try to meet your calorie, protein, and fluid requirements by following Canada's food guide. In other words, eat a balanced diet of protein foods, whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and choose fluids like water, milk, and soy milk. However, if you have lost weight or if you have symptoms and side effects that are making it difficult to eat, this diet pattern might not be right for you. Instead, you might have to choose foods and fluids that are packed with protein and calories, like high-fat dairy products, high-protein, high-calorie soups and smoothies, and possibly nutrition supplement drinks. Speak to a dietitian. They can provide you with personalized tips to help you get the nutrition you need. They can also provide you with diet tips for managing symptoms and side effects like diarrhea, nausea, taste changes, and mouth sores. Some patients diagnosed with a neuroendocrine tumor experience carcinoid syndrome, which causes symptoms like bloating, gas, um, flushing, which is like a redness in the face, abdominal pain, or diarrhea. For patients with carcinoid syndrome, certain foods and eating habits can make symptoms worse, like eating large meals, eating meals that are high in fat, drinking alcohol, eating spicy foods, eating raw tomatoes, and eating foods that have moderate to high amounts of amines. Always remember that everyone is different. Um, not everyone experiences carcinoid syndrome and not everybody has the same trigger foods. Please speak with a dietitian for personalized nutrition advice. Being diagnosed with cancer can be overwhelming and nutrition is likely just one of many things someone with cancer is thinking about. You can help by offering to grocery shop or prepare food to make cooking and eating well easier. There is also a ton of misinformation on the internet about nutrition and cancer. Don't add to the confusion by offering your opinion on someone's diet, especially if they don't ask for it. If you know someone with cancer and you are worried about their nutrition, encourage them to speak with a registered dietitian so that they can get up-to-date, evidence-based nutrition advice. If you have questions about nutrition and you are a patient at the Odette Cancer Center, visit the Nutrition Resource Center. We are located on the ground floor of Odette, across from the cafeteria. You can visit us Monday to Friday or give us a call at 416-480-4623. Nutrition services are part of your care at Odette. You do not need a referral from a doctor to speak with a dietitian. If you are not a patient at Odette and you have questions about nutrition, ask a member of your healthcare team about what nutrition services are available to you.